Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. In this part of this tutorial series in which we are making an Android timer app in Kotlin, you are going to learn how to create the settings activity. In that settings activity, we will be able to set the length of the timer. So basically, we could say that all of this tutorial will be focused on removing this placeholder from here, from this get timer length function inside Previtil. So first up, let's actually create the preferences XML file. This is something like the layout file for the preferences, otherwise known as settings. So let's open up the res folder, right click and we want to create a new directory, XML. And inside this new directory, we want to create a new preferences XML. So new XML resource file, preferences. And we don't want to use the default preference screen, but we rather want to use one from the support v7 library. So let's open up the build.gradle for the module app. And let's put one line in here. You can get the code from the link in the video description, by the way. And now let's get back to preferences.xml. And let's change this preference screen to the one from the support v7 library. So let's write android.support.v7.preference.preference screen. And here comes the problem. We want to use a Sigbar preference, but that is not readily available in any of the support libraries. Well, there is actually one Sigbar preference in the support library, but it's pretty ugly and it's not really useful. So we are gonna have to rely on third party libraries. Thankfully, there is one such library. It's right here on GitHub and you can get the link from the video description and it's called Material Sigbar Preference and it's pretty awesome. So let's just scroll down and we want to copy this line, go back to Android Studio into the build.gradle for the module app and we want to paste that line in here and let's probably remove this plus from here and now let's sync the project. All right, let's go back to preferences XML and we want to add com.pavelsecund.seekbarpreference.seekbarpreference.compat, not the seekbar preference without compat. All right. And here we want to specify the key of the preference by which we are going to get it inside Previtil like any other preferences. And the Android key will be com.resocoder.timer.timer length. Then Android title will be timer length. Android summary will be for how many minutes should the timer run and Android default value will be 10 minutes. Then we want to specify the minimum and maximum values for the minutes which we are able to set. Those are located inside the app namespace and let's hit alt enter to add it and they are called msbp underscore min value and the minimum is one minute. Then msbp max value will be 60 the interval of this seek bar will be one minute. The measurement unit will be minutes. And we are also going to set dialog enabled to be true. This will enable the user to enter the value manually. All right, so we've got this preferences XML done. Let's now create a settings activity. So right click on the first package. We want to create a new activity and it's going to be an empty activity. Its name will be settings activity. All right, now let's go to the layout file for this activity. And let's also open up the layout for activity timer and let's copy all of the content of activity timer XML and paste it inside activity settings. We want to remove the three floating action buttons from here and also the include layout content timer. So we are left with this and inside this tools context, we want to remove timer activity and specify settings activity in here. Awesome stuff. Now, in order to display the actual preferences, we need to be using a fragment. So let's put a fragment inside this activity. Width and height will be match parent. The ID of this fragment will be simply fragment. And the name of this fragment will be com.resocoder.timertutorial.settingsactivityfragment. That's actually the name of the fragment which will be populated inside this fragment view. So let's create that fragment right now. We want to create a new Kotlin class. Its name will be settings activity fragment. All right. And it will inherit from preference fragment compat. Cool. And it should implement on create preferences. So let's hit implement members. And inside it, we want to add preferences from resource. And the resource is the already created preferences.xml. So r.xml.preferences. And this is all we need to do inside this fragment. 
All right, now let's go back to settings activity Kotlin file. And we have a toolbar inside this activities layout file. So we want to set support action bar to be this toolbar. And the ID of the toolbar is simply toolbar. And it's defined right here. And then we want to get the support action bar. Then we want to use the null safe access operator. And we want to set display home as up enabled to be true. That's going to display the back arrow. And then support action bar title will be settings. All right, then we are almost done. Now let's go back to Previewtil. We want to create a private const val timer length ID, which will be equal to the key of the seek bar preference. So let's copy it from here and paste it inside the Previewtil. And now this get timer length function will no longer be a placeholder, but we want to get preferences. So just let's copy this line of code from get previous timer length seconds. And then we want to return preferences dot get int with the key of timer length id and the default value will be 10 minutes all right then now pretty much all that's left to do is to go to the timer activity scroll all the way down and inside the function on options item selected inside this when statement when it comes to r.id action settings we don't want to simply return true but we want to create an intent the context will be this activity and the class is settings activity class.java. Then we want to start the settings activity. So start activity with this intent, which we have just created. And then we want to return true. And even though we might think we've done all we need to do, there is still one thing left. We need to go to values and styles and add an item with name preference theme. And it's going to be equal to add style preference theme overlay. Without this line, the app is going to crash. And actually, I've tested this app right now and we need to do one more thing. We need to go to the Android manifest.xml and here we have specified the settings activity and we want to set its theme to be add style app theme dot no action bar because otherwise inside this settings activity, we cannot call this set support action bar to be the toolbar if we are using action bar. And now let's finally run this app inside an emulator. And here we are inside our app. Because of how we have set things up prior to this tutorial, this settings activity is just a plug and play solution. So we can launch the 10 minute timer and go to the settings activity. We can see that we have the background timer running. And we can set the length of the timer to be 43 minutes and we can actually also do it manually to be, for example, 45, right? And apply. Cool stuff. And now let's go back to the timer and it is still running the 10 minute timer. However, when we stop this timer, it's going to be set to 45 minutes. And now when we launch it and go, for example, to the settings activity so that we can see the background timer. Currently, it's 6.15. And this timer is running until 7 p.m. So it's 45 minutes. Now let's set this timer to be one minute. Go back, stop this 45 minute timer. And we have it on one minute. And when we go to the background timer, we can see that it's one minute in the future. As I am editing this tutorial, I've noticed that there isn't any title or a summary displayed in the settings activity right here on this seek bar preference. It turns out that the solution for this problem is very simple. We just need to go to activity settings XML and right here as we define the fragment, we need to add one line to it. And that line is app layout behavior. And if you want to check out a tutorial where we create our own custom behavior, click on the card in the corner. But this time we are going to use a behavior from the support library. It's fully qualified name is located at string app bar scrolling view behavior and if you look to the right on the designer you will see that the fragment will shrink now it's below the toolbar and that was the problem from the beginning it's not that we aren't displaying the title and the summary but it's actually below this toolbar now when we build this app and run it and go to the settings you will see that we have the title and the summary there so what can we learn from this? Well, don't underestimate a single line of code. All right, then that's it for this tutorial. 
If you wanna get the code, go to the link in the video description, which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If this tutorial series helped you with creating a timer app, and if this part helped you with creating the settings for the timer, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't wanna miss more tutorials like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you aren't going to miss any of my new videos. If you have anything to say, leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.